tomorrow actually turning into quite a dull and damp day for many of us as some more rain heads its way in from the west. In fact, on the satellite picture, you can already see that cloud spreading in from the Atlantic, and that will be with us across western parts before the end of the night. Now, if we zoom in, you'll notice there's still an area of cloud there across some central and eastern parts of the UK, and this has been producing a fair number of heavy showers. I think those will gradually fade away as we head towards morning. Still the chance of the odd heavy downpour in places, but then later in the night, the focus will change towards the west, where we see this area of cloud and rain moving into Northern Ireland and eventually fringing into these other northwestern parts of Britain as well. On the whole, a reasonably mild night, although it will turn quite chilly towards the northeast of Scotland with a touch of frost likely. So a cold start here, but there will be a little bit of brightness. In fact, Shetland could be the sunniest place as we go through the day tomorrow, because generally for most of us it will be a very cloudy day. And there'll be some rain around, most of that in the morning across the western side of Scotland, northwestern parts of England as well. As we head further south and east, well, generally a drier start to the day, maybe just the odd shower still for East Anglia. Southern parts could see the odd ray of sunshine, a little bit of brightness, but not great amounts of sunshine by any means. There will be a lot of cloud there out towards the southwest, some mist and murk perhaps over the moors, and it will be turning increasingly damp across Wales as that rain heads in across the Irish Sea. So quite a damp start for Northern Ireland as well, and it looks like the rain will be with you for much of the day. So we'll continue to see that rain moving in from the northwest. It looks like these northwestern parts will always see the bulk of the wet weather. Anything that heads over towards the east is likely to be a little bit lighter and patchier in nature. And indeed, many southern parts are likely to stay largely dry for much of the day. As far as the temperatures go, we'll be looking at highs of maybe 12 degrees or so across the north, 15 or 16 further south. Now, that rain will continue to move its way in across the northwest, heading down into the southeast as we head through Wednesday night into Thursday. It'll draw in a lot of humid air, so quite a mucky day, really, on Thursday. It will feel quite close with a lot of clouds still around and still some rain, particularly across northern parts. As the breeze picks up on Friday, I think we'll blow a lot of that cloud away, so it may well brighten up for a time, although there will still be a fair few showers around. So quite an unsettled week.